We are here with some Madden 25 gameplay. And I have a pretty interesting little video here for you guys. I know a lot of you guys that are here on my channel are only here for the online league. And that is coming any day now. And once I get more information on that, uh, we, I will post a video as soon as I can. We will, as, as the, I'm recording this, we have not done our team draft yet. We've been kind of waiting for Madden to come out so we can you know, test sliders and get things going. Uh, I'm assuming by the time this video is up on YouTube, we'll probably be starting our team draft. And then once I know what team I am, you know, we'll talk about our team and go from there. Don't have it if that information as of this recording. And so I was like, what do I want to do? I don't know what team I am. I can't be, I can't run head to head games because I have no idea who I'm going to be. I wanted something fun to do. I'm not a big ultimate team guy. I'm just not. I like ultimate team on FIFA, but Madden, I just can't get into it. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to incorporate Madden and real life. And I just randomly picked a team and I picked and it landed on the Chargers. So here we are. We're going to try and predict what I think the Chargers will do in this season in real life and then see what Madden thinks. We'll just sim a season with the Chargers and see what they do. Um, I'm a big Justin Herbert fan. I think Justin Herbert's very, very good. But I don't think the Chargers roster is particular, particularly anything crazy. I think they're kind of an average team. They got some star power here and there, but they got some glaring holes. Um, their win total right now in real life is 8.5. That's their over and under. Um, and that's kind of right where I see him. It's a pretty good line, if you ask me. I think I will, as we go through the games here, you guys will see what I have them ended up um, on. But uh, I think the over-under is, like, perfect on this. I really do. And by the way, I didn't do, like, crazy hardcore research on this. It's just a fun thing I thought I'd do. And if you guys enjoy it, we can go through some other teams as we wait for the online league to start. Um, so just, just trying to look for something cool to do. So here we are at the Chargers. Um, Greg Roman comes over. Greg Roman and Mr. Harbaugh after winning the championship with Michigan. And I think it's very clear what these two want to do. And it's establish it. They want the 1960s offense. They want to ground and pound. They want to slow it down and, and win. That's how they want to win. Um, as a Seahawks fan, I saw countless run plays <laughs> under Mr. Harbaugh when he was with the 49ers. I mean, back in the day when, he, when he was with the Niners doing Colin Kaepernick and Frank Gore and they were just running around like crazy, I mean, it was a good team. It was defense and run the ball. And as a Seahawks fan, it worked out for me too because that's what Mr. Pete wanted to do, defense and run the ball. And that's what they want to do here, I believe. Um, the scary thing, though, is is Justin Herbert going to be able to help that? He has the little planner, fascia, whatever you want to – whatever, however it's pronounced, injury – and um, I, I believe the reports are saying he'll be fully healthy by week one. I mean, you never really know how that stuff goes. I am under the impression he will be healthy week one. And uh, my predictions are based on, you know, key players staying healthy. You know, the way I predicted the Chargers to go, I'm not predicting Justin Herbert to, like, blow his knee out week one and all of a sudden they win, like, one game. I'm not, you know... Pre Justin Herbert, you know, some Cleo Max stays somewhat healthy. Like, the key players are there, you know. Um, if Justin Herbert can, uh, you know, stay healthy and do some things, I think he will be running a little bit more than he's used to or has in the past. He hasn't really been, like, a prolific runner. He definitely can, and I think they'll probably use him, you know, a little bit more – because this is what they want to do. They just want to run the ball. And looking at their backfield, I, I don't know who's going to be the main guy here. I have no idea. Um, they have Jarrett Patterson, too, who's not even in the Madden depth chart for whatever reason. Uh, is it Gus Edwards? You know, I, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Is he going to get hurt? I'm pretty sure Gus and JK are both, like, somewhat banged up already. So... Is it going to be these two? I have no idea. J.K. Dobbins, he was good once upon a time, and now he's always hurt. Gus Edwards is just like an average guy, but can he take on like 200-plus carries? No, probably will be hurt, probably. Again, this is what these guys do. Is it Isaiah Spiller? He's young, but he really hasn't done much. Is it the rookie they drafted, Mr. Vidal? I, I don't know. He's, a, he's very small. He's very small. He is 5'8". 
Um, can he even take that many carries without him getting hurt? I have no idea. So it's going to be very interesting to see. I think it's just going to be a combo effort. I mean, they got to somehow keep these guys healthy. So I think it's just going to be a combination of three or four guys, and they're just going to run like crazy and see and see what they can do. I think this team is really like two two ish three years away from like really competing. Um, I think they'll be just like kind of mediocre. I don't think they're going to be like this drastically terrible team. They're going to be kind of mediocre for uh, two-ish years. And then I think if things can develop, which Harbaugh is a really good coach. I believe he probably could turn this thing around. If anyone can turn the Chargers around and make them relevant again, it's probably Harbaugh. So it's just going to be a couple years. I don't think I see anything crazy happening, you know. Uh, this year or next year receivers is another crazy weird interesting thing they have going on who is going to be the guy here is it Quentin Johnston who they drafted in the first round last year probably not but maybe second year maybe but he just I don't know I think I think there's a massive confidence thing here and I'm, I'm a big big time believer in confidence if you have your confidence sky high you'll be playing very very well I just you got to be confident, and he just clearly he's got some mental thing going on because he's he's dropped he dropped insane amount of passes last season. I mean, just insane amount. Is it Lad McConkey who they just drafted this year in the second round? Possibly. Is he going to be like this god tier wide receiver one? I don't think so. He'll probably just be like a slot a decent slot guy. Is he going to be like Keenan Allen light? No, no chance. Keenan Allen's way better than this guy. So I don't think Lad's going to do anything. I mean, maybe he'll be good. Someone's got to catch passes from Herbert, so someone's going to be doing something relevant this season receiver-wise, but is it DJ Chark? No idea. He, he kind of flashed here and there with the, the Panthers of all teams last season. He had some big-time plays. Or is it Joshua Palmer, who Madden claims is their best wide receiver? Um, maybe he is. Maybe Joshua Palmer will be the one, but he's had chances last season to be the one when everyone was hurt. When Keenan was hurt, Mike Williams hurt, everyone was hurt. He had chances to be the one. Obviously, I don't know if – I don't think Justin Herbert was playing at that time. He was playing with Mr. Easton Stick, who was just horrendous. So, I, you know, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Joshua Palmer's flashed here and there too. The wide receivers and the running backs are very interesting and a glaring problem with this team uh, you, those are the very, those are key positions in the offense. Okay, key skill positions. Your running back and your wide receiver, and you have no clear one at both spots. Is it's going to be a problem? Tight end. I mean, yeah, tight ends are just a bunch of guys. I mean, Hayden Hurst. Okay, average. Will Disley. As a Seahawks fan, I like Will Disley, but he's mainly just a blocker. I mean, he can catch here and there, but he's mainly just a blocker. You got a blocking tight end right here. That's all it is. And then you got Donald Parham Jr. Solid r little tight end, but nothing too crazy. The bet, one of the best parts about this team, which, like I said, Harbaugh wants to run the ball, and you got to keep Justin healthy, is their tackles are insane. Rashawn Slater is a god, and then obviously in the first round this year they draft Joe Alt, who I don't, I'm not a big college guy, but this guy seems like a god as well in the making. So we'll see how those play out. You got to keep Justin upright, and you know tackles are probably the most important to figure out to keep your quarterback safe back there. So. And Justin's been banged up quite a bit these last couple years. So it makes sense that they went Joe and didn't draft like a you know receiver, a Dunze or something like that. It makes sense. It makes sense. Especially if they're looking for the long-term plan. Maybe this year is just like a feeler year for all these young guys. See who they can keep for the long term. Um, and then go from there. And then the defense before we start with the Sims here. Um, I just wanted to do a brief like overview, then we'll go through the Sims and stuff. But the defense got a lot of holes. Defensive line, uh, Puna Ford. Like I said, ex Seahawk. I like Puna. I'm a Seahawks fan, but he's he's just okay. He's nothing special. It's just another okay player. Joey. This one actually surprised me. When I was looking. Like I said, I don't watch Mench Chargers football. I watch a lot. Of, I'm a Seahawks fan. That's like the fourth time I said that. We'll have to stop saying that. But I was surprised to see this man's 29. For some reason, I thought this dude was going to be like 26 or 27. But this dude's almost 30 already, which was crazy to me when I saw that. I was like, good Lord. 
I mean, the Chargers really got to figure this out kind of soon because he's going to be already in his thirties. I was like, this. I thought I thought for sure this dude was like twenty six, twenty seven, but twenty nine just that was surprising to me. Um, obviously, they lost what's his name, Kenneth Murray, I believe is was his name. Um, no longer there. I know they drafted this guy here. I believe he was in the third round. So I'm assuming. I mean, I would start him. They got. They got to figure it out somewhere with this middle linebacker. So I would probably start him. Denzel Perryman is just another, like, okay player. But like I said, the, nothing on the defense really so far is long-term. I mean, maybe some of these guys can develop. He's already kind of old. I mean, this guy's young. This have got some young players here. Maybe they can develop. Puna, 28. Puna's probably at his ceiling. You're not getting much better there with Puna. Joey's almost 30. Who's this guy behind him, though? That guy looks kind of interesting. Oh, this, okay. This name is very familiar. Yes, I know this this name. I think they drafted him last year, right? Yeah. No, I remember that guy. So, okay, so they got they got some help down there. I, I forgot about that guy. Um, Denzel Perryman, like I said, just a, just a guy. Maybe Mr. Colson here could to make a big leap. Uh, Max Old, I know he had a good season last season, but he's 33. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come at some point. I mean, as much as you want to love that these old guys just keep going the cliff comes at some point so mac doesn't have much i mean maybe mac can go into his late 30s i don't know he was good last year we'll have to find out corner is where they're very young and have a lot of promise i know they drafted two corners um both these guys here i think they were like fifth or sixth round picks so maybe those guys can pop asante samuel jr i like him he's pretty solid Fulton, another young, youngish guy here, 25. Dang, he came in the league at 21 years old. That's kind of crazy. So four years and you're still, you know, okay. Maybe not much from this guy if you got four years already under your belt. Or maybe Harbaugh makes some newbies. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, safeties are solid. Derwin's 28. You know, the fact that Joey was, I, f I don't know. I feel like Derwin has been in the NFL way longer than Joey. He's been here, but he's younger. Derwin's six years in the league. How long has Joey been in the league? He's been eight. Okay, so I don't know where I've been at. Apparently not paying attention. It seems like Joey's been in forever, forever, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go with the Sims here. Enough with the overview. Um, so the way it's going to go is I just, you know, predicted what I think is going to happen week one, week two with the Chargers games. And I just gave a score. I thought it'd be cool to give a score and see if Madden's even close. And we'll see what Madden comes out at the end of the day uh, compared to what I think the Chargers will do. So, week one, Justin Herbert will be out there, I believe. And I say that the Chargers start off pretty decent to their season. I think they're going to win week one. Um, I have the score 20-17 to 17 against the Raiders. I think it'll be a close game. Um, it's going to be a lot of news because the Raiders, who's going to be quarterback? Is it going to be Aiden O'Connell? Is it going to be Gardner Minshew? Zamir White's now the starting running back. How's that going to work? It's Antonio Pierce's like first like main season as like the guy, you know, not just a filler head coach. Um, I think this is going to be a really close game. I think the Raiders are going to be kind of like the Chargers are this season, just kind of like mediocre. Maybe one of them, if they get a little lucky here or there, sneaks in as like a seven seed because the seventh seed can get in with eight or nine wins. Um, but I think they're both kind of about the same level, just pretty mediocre. I know the Raiders got, like, Christian Wilkins. That's a pretty big player to add to your defense. Um, but the Raiders' obviously main problem is quarterback. Who the hell is their quarterback? I mean, who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Chargers at least have that. And I think that's what is going to give them the edge here in week one. And they are at home. So 20-17 to 17 is... Um, what I got them what I got them doing, you know? And what do we got here? I guess everything's all over the place. Where I got a, how do how everything's so different. Why do they change so much stuff? Like how do I Okay, so they lost 17 to 13. My score was kind of close. I said 2017. Um, they claim that they lost to they took a well, they don't claim because it's right there. They lose to the Raiders 17 to 13. And then we got the um, Mr. P Carolina Panthers here. We go on the road into Carolina. I think Carolina's going to be pretty bad again. They got a lot of problems over there. Um, is Deontay Johnson going to be a wide receiver one? Is Deontay Johnson just going to be pissed? I mean, you saw him have some issues in Pittsburgh, not blocking, quitting on routes, blah, blah, blah. And Pittsburgh at least is a pretty well-run team, and they made the playoffs. And uh, if he goes to just a poverty team like this, I'm sorry, Panthers fans, but if he goes to a poverty franchise, I just don't see how 
I don't I don't see it working with Deontay necessarily. Um, I know they got Xavier Leggett. Maybe he'll pop at Mingo. The, I mean, he's still got time there, but Mingo didn't do anything too crazy the first year. And their defense has some okay pieces, but uh, I have this as being a pretty convincing Chargers win. I have it 24-14 Chargers. Um, so starting off 2-0 is what I believe for the Chargers here. This has got to be a win, Matt. I mean, come on. Thank you. 34-28 is what they choose for the Panthers. I was gonna say they got it. I mean, the Panthers just aren't good. I'm sorry, they're just not good, man. They're just not good. Um, now this one is an interesting one. This is where I have them taking their first L. They are on the road in Pittsburgh. I'm assuming Russell probably still starting at this point, unless they just collapse like crazy. But Russell should have the job. The defense is amazing. You're on the road in Pittsburgh. The fans are gonna be going just absolutely bonkers. And I have the Chargers losing this one 20 to 10 to the Steelers. Let's see what Madden claims. I just, I like Justin Herbert, but yeah, they claim it's an L. Okay, 17 10 over there for this, uh, that game. And this game as well, I have an L for them as well. This one I think is a little more high scoring than usual. I know the Chargers, I don't think the Chargers are going to have any, I know they're, they could be in some shootouts, but I just don't see that being the case. I see them trying to slow it down keep the game close and then potentially trying to win it at the very end um a lot of greg roman teams run 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 and hardball wants defense and run the ball so i just don't see them like especially with the receivers they don't have like a stud at the moment you know someone could pop and su surprise everyone lad mcconkey could be the next keenan allen and just go crazy in the slot you know who knows how everything plays out i just see them trying to play very slow old-fashioned run you know Try to keep it close. Don't try to make crazy mistakes early and then try to win it in the end. Uh, but this one I see being an L, and I see this one being 35-21 in favor of the Chiefs, which means they will be heading into their bye week 2-2. Two and two. That is how I think they will be. And Madden claims they are 1-3. and three. So Madden is not feeling the Chargers headed into the bye week whatsoever. Coming out of the bye week, I think they have a pretty decent stretch of winnable games here. I will say, as they get closer towards the end of their season, they have a very, very tough stretch, which I think is where their season collapses. I have them kind of staying around 500 for most of the season, but once they hit that stretch towards the end, I think there's going to be a string of a lot of L's, and that's probably where the season will turn for them. Um, so right now, out of the bye week, I have them sitting at 2-2, two and two, and Madden has them sitting at 1-3, and three. and I have them taking on, or I don't have them, they are taking on the Broncos, and I have them winning 27-20. to 20. I think the Chargers, just roster-wise, are a little bit better than the Broncos. The Broncos have a ton of holes as well. They got a rookie quarterback, um, Bo Nix. Is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? You never know. They got wide receiver problems, kind of. I mean, Cortland Sutton's okay. He's a solid guy. Tim Patrick hasn't played him forever because he keeps blowing out his knees, but is he going to be good? Is Marvin Mims ever going to play, or is he just going to ride the bench? Is Javante Williams ever going to get back to his you know rookie form when he was popping off? And the defense got some good players. Sertain's very good, but I just I don't think the Broncos are going to be that good this year. And I, I'm just I'm not really a big Sean Payton guy, man. I'm just I know he had success in New Orleans with Drew Brees, but I just, I don't know. I'm just I'm not the biggest Sean Payton guy. I have them, the Chargers winning this one, though, 27-20. to 20. And is Madden going to be on my wavelength, or does Madden just think the Chargers are going to suck? Okay, 33-10. to 10. They smoked the Broncos. There we go. Here we are, Monday Night Football against the Cardinals. This will probably be a fun little game. Um, I don't think the Cardinals are going to be anything crazy this year, but I do think their offense can outmatch the Chargers offense. So I think I could, this one could be a little bit more high scoring. I have this one a little bit more high scoring. I have the Chargers losing this one 35 to 27. Um, I just think the Cardinals offensive firepower will be a little bit much. Both defenses probably a little subpar at this point in real life. And uh, I think Kyler could outmatch him in uh, if it's a little bit of a shootout. He's got better weapons. Trey McBride, Marvin Harrison, and I think they're going to get an L, but Madden thinks they're going to get a dub. So we're sitting at 3-3 three three in Madden and also 3-3 three three in my rankings as well. So me and Madden apparently are just on 
the we're in sync. Even though you know we mixed up a couple games here and there, we both think they will be three and three here at week eight. Now I see this being a trap game for the Saints. I know Saints fans are probably like, "What do we got to do to have some success?" The Saints have a fairly decent roster. I mean, the the defense is very solid. Good corners, defensive line, very good. Um, receiving weapons are okay. They're not the worst. They're pretty. They're okay. They're not bad. Chris Olave is good. I like Rashid Shaheed, solid player. Juwan Johnson's a solid little tight end. Alvin Kamara, for I mean. He's definitely not in his prime, but he's not a bad player. Um, it's just, they just don't seem to gel. And I don't know, Derek Carr fit the Raiders better, I feel like. He just, Derek Carr seemed more like a Raiders quarterback. Like, his whole vibe and persona, like, fit the Raiders more. I just, it just doesn't seem to be gelling down there in New Orleans. And I could definitely see the Saints dropping this one because they just drop, like, random games here and there. And so I have the Chargers winning this one 23 to 20 just because the Saints just they just lose random games like games where they probably should win and uh, they lose them. so I have oh, and they haven't beaten the Saints as well 21 to 10 look at me and Madden go me and Madden are just tweaking right now now this one I think this one's pretty obvious you got to go into Cleveland I think this one's a guaranteed out. I mean, you could just chalk this up at the beginning of the season. I, defensively, the Cle the Browns are amazing. Um, at this point in time, in real life, is Nick Chubb back? I mean, if Nick Chubb's back and full, somewhat healthy, I mean, it's just, I think this one's a no-brainer. The Browns are going to beat the Chargers. They're at home. I have it losing 24-13. I don't think the Chargers really come close to this game. Honestly, it is what it is. Um, the Browns are just better. They're just a better team. And uh, Madden has the Chargers winning. Look at look at Madden go. So Madden thinks the Chargers are apparently going to the Super Bowl unless they collapse here. Um, <clears throat> currently, Madden's got them at 5-3, and three, and I have them at 4-4. Four and four. Moving to Week 10 is the Tennessee Titans, and I have this one being close. I think the Titans could surprise this year. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I think they could surprise this year. Um, they spent a ton of money in, to try to see if Will Levis is that guy, which is what you need to do. It's what you need to do. If you have a quarterback that flashed here and there, you got to splash on weapons to help him to see if he can go to that next level before you pay said quarterback crazy money. I mean, it's, just, it's just what you got to do. Um, you don't want to do the Daniel Jones route where it's like, oh, we squeaked into the playoffs. Oh, somehow we beat Minnesota. Oh, let's, let's give him cash. And it's just like... They didn't really, I don't know, Daniel Jones was okay that year, but I, it wasn't really enough to give him that second contract. If I were running an NFL team, um, I would love to do it the way the Titans did, where it's you still have your rookie quarterback. Now let's invest heavily in good weapons that go out and get Calvin Ridley. They already have D-Hop, not his prime, but still good. And they go out and get a solid, very, very good third receiver, Tyler Boyd. And then you go out and get Tony Pollard. They already have um, Tajay Spears. So you surround Levis with known weapons that have, that have had um, success in the NFL. And you see if Levis can do it before you pay Levis the big-time money. If Levis can succeed, then okay, then maybe you work towards getting him the big-time money and locking him long-term and looking to forward towards you know him being the guy the rest of the way. So I think the Titans could... Could actually impress this year. I actually have the Chargers winning this one, though, in a close game, 27-24, um, just mainly because they're at home. You know, home field does help. I have them winning. Let's see what Madden has them doing here. So into Week 11, Madden thinks the Chargers are going to have a fantastic season, which they definitely could. One thing about the NFL is it's very, very hard to predict because – Especially in this sport, things can flip immediately. I mean, you just saw the Texans, who were terrible. Draft CJ Shroud made the playoffs. <laughs> won a playoff game. So, things can flip drastically um, with change of scenery. And uh, the Madden thinks they're, they're going to do pretty good. So, here in Week 11, this is where the downfall starts for them, in my opinion. This is, you know, right now I have them, I believe, in mine. I have them sitting... So what, we're nine games in? I think they're sitting at five and four. Yeah, 
one, two, yep, five and four, I believe, is where I have them right now. So, a game above 500, well within distance to try to sneak into the wild card. And this is, I believe, where things go downhill. I think they have a string of games here that are very, very difficult. It starts off Bengals, then goes Ravens, Falcons, and Chiefs. I think they're going to lose all four. I think this is a stretch where they're just going to get outclassed by better teams who are well within, um, you know, they're, it's midseason. They're going to be all in midseason form. I think the Falcons are going to be good. I think the I think the Falcons probably win that division. I think the Ravens are clearly going to be good. The Bengals, if Joe Burrow can stay healthy, clearly going to be good. And obviously the Chiefs, they just won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. So this is where the downfall begins. Um, and this is where Chargers fans probably start to lose their hope. And I've been there, man. As a Seahawks fan, I, I just witnessed that. We were first in our division at one point, like six games in. And then here we are missing playoffs. Madden claims they lose to the Bengals, and then we have the Char Ravens Chargers. Like I said, this is where we they're just going to get outmatched, have them take an L here as well, and Madden does as well. The Falcons, I think the Falcons with Kirk can be good. Kirk is a good quarterback. Do I think the Falcons are like Super Bowl contenders? Eh, I don't think that, but the Falcons have the weapons. Bijan's crazy. Receivers are good. Can Kyle Pitts just be something? Um, if Kirk can stay healthy, he'll, you know, find a way to get it done. I have them losing this one as well. They have the Chargers winning that one. And then to end the four-game stretch here against the Chiefs, the Chiefs are just better. I have them losing this one as well. Um, I just realized I haven't been telling you the scores. doesn't really matter too much. Um, but just wanted to breeze through that part because I think that's where their season kind of tanks, for in my opinion. And... Um, then it's an uphill battle at trying to make playoffs there. So at the week 15 point, the Chargers in Madden are 7 and 6. And for me, they are 6 and 7. Or no, what are they? 5 and 7. Um, hold on. I think I'm... No, 5 and 8 is what I have them at for real life. And now this is where I think things get a little bit better. The Chargers fans get a little bit of hope. I think they have a nice little stretch here. The Bucks are an okay team. I think they're around Chargers level. These are the ones that could go either way. They obviously made the playoffs last year and won a playoff game. But I just, I see it honestly kind of being like how the Seahawks were. Where Baker had a good season under uh, Canales, who that's his name, as OC. Now he's the Panthers head coach, but had a good season, made the playoffs, and then they're going to struggle a little bit and then probably just miss, just like the Seahawks. Dave was on the Seahawks as like our quarterback coach, I believe, who made the playoffs with Geno, and then the following year, he leaves, and we still were okay, but we just missed the playoffs, and I see that being kind of how the Bucks are going to be this year. I think they're going to be a little bit less... Um, not as good as they were last season. So I have the Chargers actually winning this one 23 to 17 against the Baker Mayfield Buccaneers. And what does Madden claim? They claim W as well. Madden Madden wants the Chargers to have some success. Week 16, I already talked about the first time they played the Broncos. I don't believe the Broncos are a better team. I think the Chargers are a better team. I think the Chargers win this one. Um, I have the Chargers win this one 24 to 14. And they do as well. Um, hold on. I was kind of close to that Bucks score. 17-10. I said 23-17. I was, was kind of close. Patriots. Not sold on the Patriots. Um, just, I'm just not. I'm sorry. I think that team is garbage. Their defense has got some good pieces. But is Drake May going to be good? It's another rookie quarterback situation. No idea. I think the Patriots are just not going to be that good of a team. They got wide, they got wide receiver problems too. Um, maybe even more so than the Chargers. I'm not too sure. So I have the Chargers win this one 30 to 24. Um, oops, that's not what am I doing here? Let's go ahead and sim. Clearly, the Chargers are making the playoffs in this sim. Um, they have the Chargers losing. Um, so I'm not I'm not too far off with Madden. If Madden has the Raiders lose this game or win this game in Madden, they will be at nine and eight. I had the Chargers going eight and nine this year. <coughs> Have them closing out this season with the Raiders with an L twenty to thirteen. I don't see the Chargers making the playoffs. I see them hitting the under on their win loss total. Like I said at the beginning, eight point and a half is their win loss. I have them at eight and nine. 
an okay season, probably a season where if you're Chargers fans, you're like, yeah, I'm okay with that. With where my team's at, you know, I'm okay with that. You had flashes here, there. Justin Herbert probably had some crazy games, but eight and nine, okay. We can, you know, hit the draft class once again. He's got some a decently high pick. Try to get some Justin Herbert some better weapons. Try to get some more pieces on the defense, and then run it out again next year. Um. That's what I have, at least them going 8-9, and nine, finishing the season, and just missing the playoffs. What do the Madden gods have in store? Do they make the playoffs? And drumroll, they lost and missed the playoffs. Wow, okay. I mean, me and Madden are pretty close. I'll say that. Are we actually, are we in the playoffs or no? Um, oops, AFC side, no. Chargers just missed, so the Jets get the seven seed. The Jets must have been, I'm assuming, tied with me. Maybe they had ten wins. Oh yeah, nine and eight, tied with us. Had the tiebreaker. Um, that's, I mean, this is this is kind of like how I see it in real life. I'm gonna be honest. Mad, me and Madden were pretty similar. This is, it's not like I did this like multiple tries to get this close to. This is just one try through with the Sims, and. Um, they missed the playoffs at nine and eight, and I have them missing the playoffs at eight and nine. So I think that's probably around the range of outcomes. Obviously, a game could go here or there, depending on just some bad luck, a fumble here or there. Maybe they win seven. Maybe somehow the ball bounces their way and they squeak a couple more and they win ten. But I don't see the Chargers making the playoffs this year. I see them just kind of being a team, just an okay team. You know, a team where you're not like too scared of, but you don't want to take them too lightly. And uh, I have them at eight and nine. Like I said, though, I think they're a couple years away from competing. I think they need to find a running back. If John Harbaugh wants to run the ball, you've got to have that running back position figured out. I think they'll probably draft someone next year. Receivers, someone's got to step up this year, and if not, you've got to go find someone that will because you can't be throwing Justin Herbert out there with not a clear-cut wide receiver one for him to, you know, develop with and get it you know get really locked in with that guy and the defense just needs a little bit more pieces it just it's it's got some star power here or there but it just needs more um if you're chargers fans let me know what you think they will do in real life if you guys think this is interesting at all definitely let me know down below because i'll do some more teams or if there's a team you think i should do if it's your favorite team or just a team you think would be interesting let me know like i said online league will be coming very soon once i get more information i will post about that hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'll see you in the next one